Hey folks, Eric here at Avid, and I'm gonna answer some questions that we got from you guys about how to use a drag knife like this one with the new EX controls. I thought this was a great one because uh, it does require a little bit of setup and I get to show you guys a cool hidden feature in the EX controls that makes using a drag knife a lot easier. So let's jump in and see how to do it. All right, I've got my drag knife here installed on my spindle and like any tool, you need to measure it. And typically tools are measured with the touch plate. And on a lot of machines and configurations um, and drag knives, you may be able to get the tip here to reach over the touch plate. If for some reason it doesn't, if you just have a setup where uh, the blade just can't get effectively over the touch plate, there is a really easy way to measure it off of your spoil board. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So here we are in the control software and normally you would do an MTC and you know, if your blade can reach over your touch plate, you can go ahead and do a normal MTC. But if you can't for some reason, you can go into the utilities menu and you can pick option three that says manual tool measure. And this is gonna let you measure the tip of that tool against your spoil board. So we'll hit option three, hit cycle start. And it says this utility will let you measure any tool off the work surface. This can be useful if you have an odd or a large tool that can't reach on the touch plate. So we'll hit cycle start. It's gonna ask us if we have an ATC. We don't, so we'll hit N. And then it's gonna ask us which tool number we're inserting. And for the drag knife and the Vectric gadget that makes the drag knife tool paths, you always wanna use, at the time of this video recording, tool number one. So we're gonna say that this is number one, and then it's gonna ask us the diameter of the tool. This really doesn't matter, um, so I'm just gonna say one in this case. And it's gonna say insert tool number one, the drag knife, which I already have. And then it's gonna say jogs through your tool is skimming the work surface and press cycle start when ready. So we'll do that now. So here we are, we're just jogging down. We wanna get the tip of this bit just skimming on the surface here. So I'll just nudge it down a little bit at a time. And as soon as I feel that blade touch, just like that, we'll go ahead and hit cycle start to confirm and our new tool height is set. Okay, so now we're in Aspire um, or VCar. Uh, this process is the same on either of those programs. And we need to set up a drag knife. So we're gonna go to Tool Paths and Tool Database. And we're gonna create a new tool by hitting this plus down here in the bottom. And we're gonna say that this is an end mill. And it is important to make sure that you call it an end mill. Um, the diameter doesn't matter. The number of flutes don't matter. Um, so we'll just go ahead and hit copy so we get the rest of these settings here. What is important is the pass depth. Um, so you want to set this to the maximum that you'd ever want to cut. So this particular drag knife I would do up to a quarter of an inch with. And the spindle speed is the other really important setting here. Um, I currently have the spindle speed set to one. And this is very much on purpose because we don't want the spindle to spin while you have this drag knife installed. And on EX controls, typically if you turn off the spindle while the controller is operating, you'll get an error and you won't be able to use the machine. By setting this RPM to one, the controller is gonna know to not start the spindle. And you'll see that in action in just a minute here. So you can set your feed rates and your plunge rates to whatever you're comfortable with. And your tool number needs to be number one. And that's because when you create drag knife tool paths in Vectric, they always default to tool number one. So we're gonna to wanna to make sure that we set that. We're gonna hit okay. And now we can go to gadgets and drag knife tool path. And I'm not really gonna get into the intricacies of making a drag knife tool path because Vectric has some excellent tutorials and videos on this. But what I wanna show you is after you set up your drag knife tool path, you wanna make sure that you scroll to the bottom and hit select tool and go find that drag knife tool that we just set up. So here we go, and we'll hit select, and sometimes you may have to copy settings over. Apply, select, okay. Now I've got a drag knife tool path uh, set up. You can preview it here, and let's save out this tool path, and we'll load it up in the control and see it run. Okay, so now we've got the job loaded up in the control, and I'm gonna go ahead and run it. And we've already measured tool number one, so it's gonna go past that. And then it's gonna say, spindle RPM is set under 100. Spindle will not turn on. Do you really want to run this job with the spindle off? Press one for yes, two for no. We, of course, wanna run this with the spindle off, so I'm gonna hit number one. 
and it says you're about to run this job with the spindle off, press cycle start to continue. So just a second confirmation to make sure you're okay with that. And then we hit enter and the job will run. And that is your crash course in setting up a drag knife on EX controls. If you have any questions, please check the Avid CNC support site or go ahead and post on our forums. We're happy to help and answer any questions. And as always, if you have a question that you want to see one of these short videos about, get in touch with us. If it's a good idea, I'll probably make a video on it. Thanks for watching.